Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be comparing the watercolor tubes and the watercolor pens by White Knights, uh, which is from the brand Nevskaya Palitra and these are Russian artist grade watercolors. Now these watercolors are great and they are really inexpensive. They are less expensive than Cotman watercolors or Van Gogh watercolors, which are student brands. And I think they are very comparable to other artist grade watercolors because I have tried the Winter Newton Professional, I have tried the Sennelier, I have tried the Daniel Smith and some Mijello paints. And from these, I, I think the the White Knights are very comparable with the Daniel Smith. The Daniel Smith, no, the, the Sennelier. In terms of pigment, I mean, Daniel Smith are a little bit harder to re-wet, but they have a whole lot more variety of colors. Yeah. Well, this is not about Daniel Smith. This is about the White Knights one, ones, and I decided to compare these because the um, the pens are sold open stock and they have been for a very long time but the um, ooh, okay. but the tubes um are only ab available open stock fairly recently and i'm not sure how many stores already have them i know that the one i go to to buy uh, White Knights, which is Provoca Art, and I'm going to leave a link from them down below. Um, I know that their store carries it, because I went there in the summer, <laughs> a long time ago. I also finished editing this video in September, but it doesn't matter. So, I went there, and they had this open stock, and I decided to restock on some of my favorite colors, and I also bought the the pen version because I had already refilled with other brand by Cobalt Blue so I decided well it, it would be better to buy a new one so I can compare new pens with new tubes. Now this brand is very pigmented it rewets beautifully the colors are amazing, the ones that are opaque, like the cadmiums, are very creamy. The other ones feel creamy but are transparent, or semi-transparent, depending on the pigment, obviously. Um, and, yeah, I really like them. So, the colors I am using here... Oh, and they are made with honey, which makes them very sticky, as you can see. With the cobalt blue, it just got stuck there and wouldn't come off. Um, I had to put it in the freezer for almost 20 minutes and it still stayed glued. So, yeah. Uh, but it's not too bad. <laughs> now, the colors I'm using are Hansa Yellow, PY1, Green or Russian Green in older pants, which is PG8, Cobalt Blue, PB28. Now, these three colors are some of my favorites, and I use them all the time. All of those are, or each one of these is in one of my three most used palettes. The blue is in my greens and blues palette. I have... Um, you can see on my channel, I, I will link that video, uh, a video where I make my green palette and I have this blue in there. Um, I have on my essentials, I'm going to be switching a few colors there before I make the video, but I have um, one palette that I carry with me almost everywhere and that has that green. And the one that I use for school, which has only primary colors, I have that Hansa yellow because it is almost a perfect primary. And I love it. So, I really like these colors, as you can see. And 
you know, they are so, so beautiful. I am going to be pre-wetting the pans so it is a little bit more fair when it comes to comparing it with fresh paint from the tube. Now, the only, I think it's the only pet peeve I have with these paints. No, I have two. I have two pet peeves. The first, they are fairly hard to buy because the only store, there are only two stores that I know that have it, that have these paints. And those are Jackson's Art Supplies and um, the one here in Portugal that I go to most often when I want these colors. That is one pet peeve. And the other is that the tubes and the pens perform different differently. And that is part of the reason why I made this. Because I noticed from the cobalt blue, and that's why I am not opening the cobalt blue on camera it's because or breaking the seal it's because i had already tried and i noticed the difference and therefore i decided this video would be helpful um but they are a little bit different the cobalt blue from these three is the one that is the most different for, um, between tube and pan and it makes me a little bit sad that I like the pen more than I like the tube formula. Because, you know, you don't always want a full pen on a palette. Because sometimes it's just too big and I love this color. So I would like to be able to pour the color into my own pens or into my own palettes and be able to use, you know, different palettes. But... I don't like the tube formula, especially in the blue one. And the one, the green and the yellow are really nice and are not that different from the, from the pen. So I don't understand why the blue is so different. When I do the flow test, the, the tube just the the version from the tube just jumps out of the brush and makes this amazing effect on the water and I love it but that's the only thing because it doesn't lift as easily as the as the cobalt blue from the pan it doesn't fl uh, it doesn't um, it isn't as transparent, that's what I wanted to say. It isn't as transparent. I know cobalt blue isn't always transparent and the pan version is not completely transparent. I am aware of that. But the tube version just looks chalky and it feels almost as if it has some white mixed in. It doesn't get as deep when you have it concentrated and that makes me a little bit sad because Cobalt blue is already a low tinting strength color and if you add some white to it, it's even harder to mix the nice colors in mixes. And I really like it. It's one of the few blues I have in my palette and I really like it. I have a little trouble with... I have trouble with ultramarine and I use cobalt because I don't like ultramarine. Please don't don't go yelling at me, but I really don't like ultramarine blue. So here I'm going to let you listen to a little paper tearing ASMR because this sheet of paper didn't fit in my watercolor recipe book and I really wanted to get it there, so I as soon as these swatches were dry, I decided to cut this paper so it would fit. Yeah, enjoy.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now I am going to do the flow test. And the flow tests, they all performed amazing. Especially the cobalt blue from the tube paint. The tube? Yes, from the tube. I really, I really like the way it flows on paper. And that's why I am so sad that I don't like the way it performs in all the other tests. <laughs> um, but yeah, all of them flow amazing. And that is one of the qualities of these paints. And that is why I prefer these over Mijello and over even over the Winsor Newton Professional. I really like the Winsor Newton Professional, don't get me wrong, but I prefer these because these flow like crazy and I love that. They they also are way easier to rewet. I think I already said that, but it's the truth. They rewet way easier than the Winsor Newton ones. But yeah, now I am doing the lifting test and to make it a little bit more fair, I decided to do the same method as Autocano. So three swipes with a flat, um, with a wet flat synthetic brush and uh, you pat it with the um, tissue and then repeat it three times. So it is nine swipes, I believe. Now. This is, I don't usually lift my paints a lot, for some reason I don't like the look of it, even when they lift amazingly I don't like the way it looks, but I decided to do this test because it is very important to know if it will lift or not when you try to glaze over it. And here the cobalt blue is the one that lifts the easier, the easiest, and the green the one that lifts the least. Now, I have nothing against staining colors, I do prefer staining colors, um, but the thing is, the green and the Hansa yellow are very similar from pan to tube, from tube to pan is the same roughly, and they lift roughly the same way, they perform roughly the same way in terms of transparency, and they flow roughly the same way. That's why I'm focusing most on the cobalt blue. And the cobalt blue, the version from the pen, lifts really easily, and it almost returns to the white of the paper. Not quite, but almost. But the tube version, the paper, it's weird because the pigment is settled more into the grooves of the paper, but not the grooves that you see when you look at the paper, those teeny tiny grooves that you don't see. You only see it with when the pigment settles there, and yeah, it got stuck when it was from the tube. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, or maybe it was my fault, maybe I didn't lift, I didn't use the same pressure with the brush, I don't know, but it didn't lift as easily. For me that's good, but yeah, it doesn't lift as easily. Now the thing that is really getting on my nerves is how chalky it is, and I'm sorry I keep mentioning it, but you can see on this on these close-ups that it is very chalky and that is driving me crazy. Now the flow is amazing and that's what I have to tell. The only difference I see is that chalkiness in the cobalt blue. And yeah, I'm very happy that the tubes are sold open stock now because if you find a color that you need to refill and you don't notice these differences, it's amazing. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you maybe next week maybe in three months i don't know i hope next week <laughs> enjoy <laughs> oh and happy new year i forgot it's happy new year <laughs> it's 2019 now wow <laughs>